Hey, yeah. Uh, so, this is it. This is my last night of um, having a pregnant belly. <laughs> um, I'm going in to the hospital tomorrow to have my baby. You're going to induce labor. Um, reason being is because I had, I developed preeclampsia last week into this week and you know pressure go your blood pressure just keeps going up it doesn't you know so i the best thing that the doctor decided to do was you know let's have this baby baby is full term anyway so baby is fine oh <laughs> baby is fine baby is doing well um it's just that you know the blood pressure issue you don't want you, i don't want to have to end up with eclampsia which is Worse than preeclampsia, pre so yeah, um, I'm nervous as hell. I am really, really nervous, but I'm trying to keep cool. I'm trying to keep sane. Um, I'm praying everything goes well. My doctor, she's very competent, and you know I trust her. I know she, she knows what she's doing, and you know I'm praying that baby does what he or she needs to do. To be health well to, to be healthy to come out i know baby is healthy <sighs> listen i'm just a bit of a nervous wreck right now but i'm gonna sleep i'm gonna take some rest i have to wake up really early in the morning and get out of here and as much as i can i would kind of film little it's some bits of pieces of what i can because i can film i can um but you know i don't know what my frame of mind will be like so we'll see what happens this is exciting nerve-wracking as heck good morning so i am laying down here at five 23 a.m. on a Wednesday just waiting to get to the hospital to have this baby <laughs> my belly actually looks a little bit bigger than it really is but yeah so I'm just waiting for my husband and um, yeah, I'm gonna get down to the hospital. I guess I'll check back in when I get to the hospital and I settle down and whatnot. Um, yeah, so right now I'm just like browsing Instagram and trying to keep calm and collective. I had a kind of good sleep last night. <laughs> I'm sniffling because pregnancy just yeah I've had sniffles <sighs> but it goes away it's kind of cool in here too so yeah all right I'll check in soon hey I'm sorry this camera footage this camera footage I'm sorry this video footage it's kind of shitty. <gasps> wow, well, kind of shitty. It's like really shitty, but yeah. Um, so I'm at the hospital. Um, not too long finished doing some fetal monitoring. Like twice already. It's like after, what time is it? It's 10.50 a.m. I've been here since around half six. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, the induction process has started, so they gave me the, they inserted the hormone pill inside my cervix so that contractions could start. I had breakfast already, and I was sleeping, woke up, slept again, 
Yeah, so I'm just trying to get some rest. My pressure was like really, really high this morning. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah. My pressure was really high. It was like 160 over 95. It's a lot. It's never been that high before. I think it's because I was really, really nervous. But it's now down to 129 over 95. 90 or 95 or 90 something. Which is still better than 160. So, yeah. They just took off the lights for me because it'll help me sleep a bit. So, I'm feeling some mini contractions right now. They're not painful, they're just a little bit tight, like a little tightening. So that's what I'm feeling. And, um, yeah. In a few hours' time, they're going to check my cervix again to see if it opens up. And we'll start this process of laboring and delivering this baby. I'll insert the heartbeat so y'all can hear it at some point in this video. But yeah, so they took me off the bonnet, off the oh, they took me off the monitor as I said to be able to hear it. It was like really really loud, so you wouldn't have been able to hear me talk very much. So I'm glad to be quiet now. All right. So, I'm out, I'm gonna sleep, and uh, yeah, let me get some rest. Okay, bye. So I'm gonna have some lunch, and um, I'm just gonna eat, and uh, then I'm gonna do some more monitoring of the baby again. And that's about it. And then I'll let y'all know what's going on after. <sighs> yeah. Alright. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it's like about four hours or so, or well, probably more since. I took the um, they gave me the tablet and I still have to um, open it up but it hasn't even dilated a bit at all. The doctor just checked. So they gave me another one. But this one is an oral tablet to take. And if this doesn't work well if I don't get any kind of contractions, any any anything at all. I have to do a cesarean. I kind of don't want to have to do it, but I have to do what's best for baby right now. And I kind of a bit scared. So yeah. I'm just waiting for us to come back because I didn't want. Them to do anything without him him being here, so I just we give this a try and then if this doesn't work we have to do the C section but it looks like we will have to regardless. So yeah it's gonna be okay I guess. Hello everyone, it's me here again, along with Shane and make baby brown, we all suited and booted up, check the chicks, we are about to enter, hey, 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 there is no two oh good point, <laughs> no, I can't find your foot, we are about to enter, the theater, the child ain't coming out one way, so it's gonna be coming out the other way. Oh my God. We here waiting. 
any hospital room with the fancy machinery and such. Now people often ask me, Sana, how do you keep making these babies? And I tell them, just find a woman willing to make them. That's what we did here. And to that we are very grateful. So like, subscribe, put your comments down below. Let me know how you feel. How much babies you made. Sure. So this is September 30th. I've had a baby yesterday. I still can't believe it. I have a son. But I knew he was going to be a boy from the very beginning. He's so precious and he's so small and tiny. Whew. Wow, I've been through a bit over these past few hours since delivery. So I had a C-section and um, let me tell you, they tell you about labor, but postpartum so far has been a bit of a struggle. Getting up is like one of the hardest things to do, but I did it. I am, um, they give me a kind of a, well, a dry bath, well, not a dry bath, but a bath with a cloth, and I can't shower yet. But um, I slept through the night last night um, because the pain medicine had me out a bit. I was getting a lot of shakes. Um, I couldn't control it after the, well, after I came out of surgery. Um, the medicine starts to wear off. Well, the medicine, the, um, oh God, anesthetic. And I was shaking like a leaf for a few hours. So I was chattering, uncontrollable hands, shaking. I don't know how I don't have any footage of that, I don't know how come. But <laughs> it's ridiculous. But my baby is here. And I am so grateful and happy. It still feels so surreal, like I just gave birth to a baby. What the actual hell? Like, I had a very healthy, I have a very healthy baby boy. So I'm gonna just, I'm sitting here because I can't get up. I can, but it's gonna take a bit of a struggle, so. Um, it's gonna be a bit of a struggle, sorry. So yeah, I am going to just sit here. <sighs> the nurse is going to bring the baby for me soon. <sighs> yeah, I'm still tired anyway. Having uh, that bath this morning was therapy. But postpartum, well, yeah, we'll talk about that soon in in its entirety. All right, bye.